Hey everyone, John Bumgarner here. I'm a product manager with Stanley and I'm super excited to introduce you to our new coffee pour over today. Um, this pour over is a really interesting take on the traditional pour over and it solves a lot of the problems that are barriers for normal coffee drinkers that want to get into making pour over coffee. Um, so first and foremost, this is a very easy to use brewing system. Uh, it's, it doesn't require any fancy kettle or pour technique. Um, you don't necessarily need scales to weigh things or anything like that. Um, it's, it's something that you can easily, easily brew coffee at the campsite or brew coffee at home. I use this at home every day to get my good cup of coffee in the morning. Um, and it's actually quite versatile. It can brew anywhere from an eight ounce cup all the way up to 1.4 quarts. And I'll show you a little bit more about that. Uh, so I just wanted to give a quick demo on how to use this. And again, I use it every morning. So usually I've got one eye open. I'm still pretty sleepy. Uh, thank God this thing is so easy to use. It really makes it um, quick to get that great cup that's, that's that pour over coffee that people love. Uh, so starting with what kind of grinds you need. Um, this pour over was designed and, and the, our engineers in our lab, we worked on this uh, very carefully to make sure that this pour over was designed to use what is pre-ground coffee. So if you are on your way to go camping um, and you and you want to pick up coffee, the pre-ground coffee at the store will work great. This is generally ground for a drip coffee maker. That's what you're looking for to use in this. Uh, so if you have your grinder at home and you have whole bean coffee, set your grinder for that medium grind that you would use for a at-home drip coffee maker. Uh, as far as how much coffee to use, for me, the way, you know, certainly the fun of this is that you can you can try different strengths of coffee. You can try different ratios of water to grounds. Uh, but certainly for me, the way I like my coffee, sort of the middle middle of the road, not too strong, not too weak, uh, is about three heaping spoonfuls per eight ounces. So if in this case we're going to do twelve ounce a twelve ounce brew, uh, that would be three heaping spoonfuls. So go ahead and add our coffee to the top. It's just that simple. Really nothing to it. Add some coffee in. And then we add our hot water. So this particular kettle is is this is a gooseneck kettle, and that's what a lot of pour overs require. You don't necessarily need a kettle like this to use this pour over. Uh, you can use a camp pot. You can use just a normal uh, tea kettle at home, uh, or microwave water. You know, in the in the microwave. So to add the hot water in, what I like to do, and this is optional, but you can do what they call blooming. So you just just wet the grounds first, and the idea is that it allows the CO2 to come out of the coffee. And you'll certain coffee grinds, especially if they're very fresh, you'll see some crema or some foam coming out, and that's that gas releasing. So we want the, the coffee to sit wet like this for about 30 seconds before we go ahead and add the rest of the water. Now, again, an optional step, if you're at the campsite, you just want to dump your water in, that's okay. So there's markings on the back of the, of the uh, pour over that are in eight ounce increments. So the first one's eight and so on. So you can follow that to get a, the right amount of water as you're adding the water and not make too much coffee that might overflow your mug. Okay, so the blooming is done. We're gonna go ahead and add uh, the rest of the water. It doesn't have to be poured in a certain way. Just dump it in and let it brew. Now, the, one of the key features of this uh, particular pour over that makes it really nice is that, that wide range that I talked about. So certainly at home, if you have your, your mug, your desktop mug that you love using, um, this will work great for that, uh, similar to what I do every morning. But if you're at camp, you're going skiing, or maybe you're at hunt camp, uh, you can also put this on top of any one of our vacuum bottles. So I've got a vacuum bottle here. And the pour over fits, is designed to fit right on top. So you can do the same method to brew a full bottle of coffee. Now this volume here is large enough that you can fit enough grinds and most of the water you need to fill this bottle. You may need to add a second bit of water just to top the bottle off, but it is a great tool in the sense that you have this wide range of use and you can make coffee for a big crowd and have it on the move, or you can just make a single cup in the morning and make it simple. Okay, so all of the water has drained through your coffee, hopefully. Uh, that should take around four minutes. Uh, that's kind of the recommended amount of time to get the strength of coffee you want. Now this can vary a little bit depending on the type of grind you have. So if after four minutes you have a lot of coffee left up in your pour over, you can use a spoon to just brush the side of the filter and the, and the coffee will rush through very quickly. Um, so that's a way to empty this quickly when you'd like. Uh, just a quick note on how easy this is to clean. So we've got our, our grinds in here. We can just Take it upside down and knock it against the garbage can. 
most of the grinds come out. There's still a little in there, um, which you can wipe out or rinse in the sink. And then essentially you're ready to brew another cup, add more grinds, more water if you'd like, or if you're done using it for the day, you can go ahead and just disassemble this thing so you can rinse it off and, uh, and throw it in the dishwasher. Anyway, yeah, so very easy way to make great coffee, uh, really approachable brew method for people who want to get into pour overs. And I promise you, it's a great cup. <laughs>